Hey guys, welcome to Kathy Cooks For You. Wanna show you our ingredients for our crust here. We have some deliciousness, some pecans, butter, flour, brown sugar. This is my Aunt Becky's recipe and she uses a self-rising flour. I have to tell you here that it is not necessary to use self-rising flour in this. And also, if you want to, you can cut out the brown sugar. Please don't be mad at me, Aunt Becky. I will also include another recipe for this crust in the bottom that has walnuts, flour, and butter that's absolutely spectacular. Let's get making this amazing dessert. So for the sake of my waistline, I am only making a half batch. My neighbors are getting tired of me giving them desserts. So we are only making a half batch so that Trey and I don't get fat. All right, we are going to mix our flour, our brown sugar, and our butter, and our delicious pecans together. I was too lazy to toast the pecans. Obviously, any, um, any dish is gonna taste better if you toast your nuts, but I'm a little lazy today, so I didn't do it. So this is gonna be our tasty crust. We're just gonna mix this all in. My butter was softened. Oh, I love these shortbread crusts. They are so tasty. And this one is just so full of nuts. Um, the other recipe I have that um, my mom used to make for her shortbread crust had walnuts. Um, I am a big walnut fan, but I have pecans to use up, so pecans it is, but walnuts and blueberries would go great together also. We are going to lightly grease our pan, which is going to be just a dessert for two of us. So no nine by 13 here. And we're gonna put in our crust. And you can see it's flaky. You know, it's not like it's some um, really put together crust. I'm just gonna, Mush it a little bit, make sure that butter's in there. Yeah, it's in there a little better now. Okay, and then we're gonna press it down in the bottom, except it's all sticking to my fingers. Get it all on the bottom, oh, yummy. We are gonna put this in a 375 degree oven for 15 minutes and then let it cool. Okay, we are going to put in our sugar and our cornstarch and just kind of ooh, get that stirred up and let's pour in our water get that all mixed together and then we're going to add our blueberries and we're going to bring this to a boil we just keep stirring this constantly Oh, I found a stem. Make sure that you clean all your stems out of your fresh blueberries. You can use frozen here too. And you see some of my blueberries are a little still red. Like I wouldn't want to eat those, but since we're mixing them with sugar and they're cooking, it's okay if they're not all this beautiful blue. Don't worry about that. A few underripe ones like that one, it'll be okay in this. The color of our blueberries has changed to that beautiful dark, dark navy blue. It's really thickening up now. At this point, we've got boil going two minutes. Okay, we look done. Now we need to let this cool. Okay, I have some softened cream cheese here. And I'm gonna start just by whipping that a bit. So it's broken up, now we're gonna add our powdered sugar. It says to sift it, but I'm too lazy. And our whipped cream. Now normally I use heavy whipping cream. Um, today I'm just following the directions and using this cool whip. Wah, wah. I'm gonna put this in the fridge. I'm waiting for my crust and my blueberries to cool down so I can assemble this deliciousness. Our crust is nice and cool. It's time to put our whipped cream topping in. Oh man, tasty. That is all I have to say. A little bit more here. 
Oh, I'm so glad I only made a half batch. Even this, I'm gonna have to give some away to my neighbors so I don't eat it all. But for tonight, tonight, this is my dinner. Okay, so we are gonna pour this all over. Wow. Spread that all over. If you want it a little cleaner than that, don't use your uh, dirty spatula, but I'm totally cool with that. This goes in the fridge for two hours, but I don't think it's gonna be in there for two hours because I'll need to eat dinner. Tasty. Okay. Okay, you've caught me doing what everyone loves to do. I'm getting the goodies. Oh man, that's good. Okay, let's get a bite of this. I cannot wait, it looks so good. Boy, I haven't buttered that dish. Maybe because it's cold. Okay, that one's hard to get up, so we're gonna go for the centerpiece. <laughs> I can't get it up. Oh. <laughs> That's what he said, right? Oh, it really stuck to the bottom, and you guys saw me butter this. I'm not gonna pretend. Oh, man, <laughs> here's my bottom. Okay, I don't know why it stuck, but it did. Ain't nothing we can do about it. Oh, there we go. There we go, there's my delicious cookie. Okay, the other pieces should be easier to get up now. Dinner is served. Oh man, even though I had issues, I know it's still gonna be tasty. Mm. Wow, that is so good. The crust is so yummy. Like I said, try walnuts in there, see what you like better. Mm. break my crust a little. A little harder than I than I remember. Maybe I overcooked it. I did cook it in my little oven out in the garage because it's summertime, so I don't use my oven in here, and maybe that was just too high of a temperature for that little space. Mmm! So, so good. Thank you for watching Kathy Cooks For You. Please subscribe below and also give me a thumbs up or a comment.